Look at her. Ah, that's my boyfriend. Mr. James Whiteside. Aww. Now, James. 11 years. Yeah, 11 years together. You know, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. Especially we now, what age were you when you guys got together? I was 20. So I had just come out to myself a year before that. Wow. Um, and then we started dating when I was 20. But we met at the top of the stairs at this club in Boston called Estate. Uh huh. And uh, he was really wasted. And I introduced myself as Dan. And he kept calling me Don uh -huh. all night. And I was, and I was like, ah, oh, you fool. I love you so much. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then our first date was uh, Starbucks, where he made me laugh so hard, I was bawling my eyes out. Um, and then we went to get uh, Japanese takeout from a food court. Mm -hmm. It was super easy. Nothing, like, just. I don't know, two people just hanging out, laughing at each other, having fun. Obviously it worked, because 11 years later, we were talking the other night, and we were like, how do we still enjoy each other's company so much? Yeah. It's why, I mean, imagine, surrounded by somebody day in, day out for 11 years. It's not easy. It's not easy. To I want to get rid work. of my cat yeah. like <laughs> fucking yesterday, bitch. But for some reason, him just always works. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, Madonna. Ah, <laughs> uh, Madonna. The Madam queen, X. Madam X. Madam X. So as I was getting my glam done, her assistant came over and set this little like red book in front of me and said, M always has this sitting in front of her when she gets her glam done. It's her little Kabbalah book, and she wanted you to have it mm. as you're getting your glam done. And I got uh, my face done by uh, her makeup artist, Erin, Vision Erin. Wow. Um, huge, huge. Um, and then a uh, funny story is DragCon New York had just happened a week beforehand. And so I had to have all of these Madonna looks created in order for the shoot. I brought one of them to DragCon because my, uh, one of my costume designers was gonna be there and I needed some reno uh, renovations, sure. Renovations <laughs> right. done to it. <laughs> and, uh, but at DragCon it got stolen. What? But I didn't realize that until the morning of the fucking shoot. Because <gasps> I was just like, oh, it's still in this bag. I didn't hand it off to him. He didn't come for it. It's still in this bag. I'm gonna set it aside for the shoot. I don't check the bag until the morning of the shoot. The fucking costume is gone. And so I get to set and I'm freaking the fuck out. They're like, it was uh, her Jean-Paul Gaultier, like, Oh my bra. God. It was like that concept. And so, um, so they're like, oh no, we'll figure something out. I hear one of the uh, production assistants talking about going to the vault. And I'm just like, uh-oh, what's gonna happen here? <laughs> what's gonna happen here? 20 minutes later, they call me off set. I'm just like sweating and shit. They're like, Milk, do you wanna try something on? And I'm like, sure. I see them holding, everyone's in gloves. <laughs> everyone's in fucking felt gloves. And uh, they're holding this like pristine, like baby blue box. Wow. They open the box and it is the Jean-Paul Gaultier corset, like cone bra <laughs> look. Incredible. Bitch, Madonna is 5'3", I am 6'3", <laughs> at least 60 pounds heavier than her. <laughs> Bitch, there was no way that was going to fit me. Uh -huh. <laughs> but they were like, all right, we'll give this little gay boy his dream. Mm. And so they're like, yeah, this could fit. We'll just like loosen up the corsetry and like whatever. I'm like, you could not loosen that up enough. Um, so they loosen up as much as they could. Bitch, it's like this open. <laughs> right. But you know, at least my skin cells are on it. Yes. And, uh, well, you and, squeezed your ass right into that. Bitch, at least one arm was in. Honey, that's all it takes. Um, and so I think they knew it wasn't going to fit, but they still made my dreams come true. That's amazing. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> okay, look up. Your former boss. Oh, with Neville, his dog. <laughs> right. Um, Mark, he is such an icon and inspiration, a loving being who has 
a lot of love to share, seeing his success and seeing not only like business and monetary success, but seeing like the way he's fallen in love with Charlie. Yeah. Um, has been really cool. I remember coming out to Revolver. I was, Charlie was planning uh, a video for Mark's birthday where all the queen, uh, where he would get a bunch of queens together to uh, replicate um, the minute he walks in. And oh yeah, Big, Big Spender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is one of Mark's favorite songs and favorite scenes in a movie. Uh. And so, like, Detox was there. Wow. Candace Kane was there. Just a bunch of a bunch of amazing queens. And so Charlie putting that all together because he knows Mark would love it so much um, was really amazing. So to see their love and see them blossoming into a whole new era of Mark Jacobs is really amazing. Look at her. <laughs> oh, Adam. Um, Skating friend, uh, I hope they do an actual skating episode on that show. Oh, that the would fact, be something to see. Yeah, the fact that they brought Adam Rapon in, Olympic, you know, competitor yeah. and medalist, bronze, I think it was, mm -hmm. for the world team. Um, the fact that they weren't on ice Come on. Mm, no. Yeah, that's true. Like, get those queens to an ice rink. Yeah. And if they ever do, like, I'm here. I'm oh, here. Yes. That would be fun. That's a great idea. I mean, that would be fun. To get those queens to go to an ice rink and, like, try to do something fun. Yeah. So Maybe, L Lady Red, if you're on that season, maybe you can honestly, use your bro, Utah, from Utah skating experience. They don't want it. They don't want 20 minutes of it. I promise you. <laughs> oh, baby, we want it. I want it. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> um, now, did you ever hang out with Adam in real life, or was it, I know you've done interviews with him. No, we have hung out in real life before uh, through our, uh, our mutual friend, Taylor Toth, who was a, a skater, and who was actually my first manager oh, uh, really? for drag. Yeah. Um, I was, n at that point in time in 2014, Drag Race, it was a big thing, but there were only some, there were only a couple like contenders in the game as yeah. far as promote, or, uh, managers. And so I was like, all right, Taylor, do you want to do this? And he's like, sure, I love talking to people on the phone. Right. He had so much fun mm -hmm. talking to these crazy promoters on the phone, yeah. just like about riders and all this shit. He would call me up afterwards and be like, you would not believe. Um, so <laughs> um, yeah, Adam and I have hung out. I think he's amazing. He did, he was on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, he won. He Did he win? Yeah, he won. <laughs> Work, bitch. Congratulations, Work, bitch. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last but not least, look at him. There she is. Is that RuPaul? Yes, it is. That's RuPaul, honey. To have her talk show again and to be this, this voice of queer liberation. And I do hope that she, I do hope that uh, she does speak upon a lot more queerness than just the gay demographic. Mm -hmm. um, because I think it's important to honor, just like we've honored Sylvester, it is important to honor um, those who have come before us who do not identify as cis. Yeah. Um, and so to have that be a big part of this legendary phenomenon, um, I think she has a lot on her shoulders and I think she is ready to fucking take it on. Have you ever had any personal interaction outside the show? Um, the, uh, it's funny, the only personal interaction we have has been with um, Matthew Anderson. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, I was uh, in World of Wonder to film uh, Legendary Looks, and uh, I was talking to Matthew, and then RuPaul ended up showing up, and it was just like this whole, like, all right, Dan, these are your idols. Uh -huh. Like, talk about something. Right, what did you do and what did you say? Bitch, I probably just farted. I don't know. <laughs> that is a lot of pressure. Like, um, it... it I, I, I truly remember not knowing what to say. I was like, I'm surrounded by people yeah. that have changed the fu fucking game, so. Mm. Um, so, good for you, RuPaul. Yes. Yay. <laughs> well, sweetie, you did it. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> wow.
Thank you so much for being thank here, Mel. You. It's I've been had so such... much fun. Yeah, thank you for having me on this Budge and Queer set. Yes, well, right. happy Pride. Gosh, happy Pride. Yes, everybody needs to check out Milk Show Woo. in P-Town this summer. Yes. With the greatest title ever. Called? Just once again, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you to the beautiful lady rat and bottoming Sylvester. Yes. And thanks to all of you. Happy Pride, and we'll see you next time on Hey Queen and Look at Her. Bye, Yay. baby. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> oh, lady rat, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Bye, hey! baby. Get out of here, camera. Camera, get out. Shoo. <sighs> yes, honey. Hello, children. Click here. Click here. And subscribe. You're welcome.